Cheers, everyone! This is Blaster Brewmaster here, and welcome back to Undertale. So, we didn't get too terribly far before where last that I saw, I remember we were looking at this cheese, which has been here for a long time. So, we're just gonna keep going here and see what we. Is that ghost in the middle of the leaves? Uh, maybe I should try to walk around? Can, can I walk around you? No? I gotta talk to him. Okay. Get Pac-Man out here. Come on. Are they gone yet? The scopes keep saying zzz out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Uh, yes. Just get out of the way. Here comes Napstab Look. Okay. Let's act in. Uh, cheer him up. I gave him a patient smile. It's like, oh. Is he getting out of the way yet? <laughs> Ooh. Is he crying? Whoa, what the? Oh, yeah, 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 shit! I got hit. First time in a while. That's since, uh, what is it called? Flowey. Uh, maybe we try to flirt with him. I just weigh you down. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry, what? Okay. Looks just a little bit better. But what if I cheer him up again? I told Napstab look a little joke. Hehe. <laughs> Whoa. Quit crying. I don't not want to be cried on. I mean, it's like cheering. It seems to have improved. Napstab looks mood again. Yeah, don't go all binding of Isaac on me here. Not like your mur murderous mother trying to kill you. Cheer once more. Absolut wants to show you something. Let me try. Okay. Oh. Crying. Call it Dapper Bloke. Do you like it? Uh. Not, not really. Kinda. Well, I guess it's a bit more of a top hat than a fedora. That's good, at least. Your goalie awaits my response. Uh, maybe I should flirt now. Oh no! I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Huh. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Huh. It's kind of interesting that, you know... I guess maybe that's the thing I need to try here, is those actions I need to try acting in a certain way. You do certain things until, like, they change, and then I can actually do things like flirt and make a difference. Ribbit. Ribbit. Uh, my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. You gonna do it? Well, at least you listen to me. <laughs> What about you? Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. One, two, three. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful. For a human. Surely you know by now that monsters wear a yellow name when you can spare it. Okay. No, I did not know that. What do you think of that? Very, it's helpful, bad. It, it's very helpful. It's very, it's, it's, uh, yeah, sure, helpful. Okay. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Interesting. Ring. Ding. Fries are done. Oh, hello. I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. So... There's kind of just like a thought here that I've got going on was I was supposed to wait back at that other spot, but she's still just calling me up like... Yeah, she's just expecting that I'm off adventuring on my own now. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of more like a mother or something. Oh! Lux drew near. Lux, Lux, Lix. Uh, what can I do with you? Pick on. Uh, no, let's not pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Whoa, whoa, ah! Ah! Weird sperm thingies. Lux is gazing at you. Uh, don't pick on him again. Finally, someone gets it. Okay. But now, what are you gonna do? Hey! Ow! Gnashes its teeth. Looks. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it one more time, and if this doesn't work, it just does the same thing over and over again. Okay. Staring right through you. I'm gonna pick on you then. You're a rude little snipe. Ah, ah, okay. Wasn't the best of ideas. Okay, clearly it wasn't right. Uh, how about I don't pick on you? And you just say that again, and then I'm just gonna try to mercy you. MERCY YOU TO DEATH! Spare. There we go, I mercyed it. Ha! Take that mercy. So much mercy you cannot deal with it. I make Gandhi look like Hannibal Lecter. First guy I could think of, All right? I would've really won with Hannibal Barca because Hannibal Barca was a badass and wasn't just a psycho killer. There was just one switch. So, okay, these things make me think that they could easily open up. So one of these... Yep. You know what? I'm gonna flee. See ya! Okay, one of these things is a switch. The rest of these are not. I'm gonna go with this one. Nope. Okay, one out of six. Oh, wait. Hey, that actually was it, wasn't it? Never mind! Wee! Haha! <laughs> Called it right on the first try! Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a switch. Press it? No. Because I'm going to read what this says first. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation and perspective. Hmm. Far door. Uh. There's more switches randomly. Okay. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay. Uh. I guess up crawls up close. Sup? Scorch? I don't care! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That, not the best of ideas! Whoa! Woo uh. How about. Oh, it was Mold Small. Migos Up. Oh, Migos Up was the one that I talked to last time. Migos Up's apparently a jerk. Mold Small. Imitate! You lie immobile with mud small. So you feel like you understand the world a little better. Burble, burble. Legion! We are Legion! It's like, ah, yeah, someone's been on the internet too long. Uh. Yeah. Let me spare that one. Mmm, cha cha cha! What do you. What do you. What? Do you, okay. That was interesting. Fire! Hey, you're dancing. You're dancing, man. I like that. Uh, okay, so I could probably... So now that makes more sense. I could just spare them when their names are yellow. Okay. Wasn't making too much sense beforehand. So, you said to do that switch. Nothing happened. Are you sure? Not in this room, but what about over here? No. You said to do the blue switch. You lied! Hmm. Just a shift of another perspective. Blue... Huh. Ah, uh, flee. See ya! I'd rather try to do this. Nope. Okay. So... Green there didn't do anything. How about here? Yes. Nothing happened. Red? Nothing happened. Hmm. So... What about you? No. Okay. Far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. So... That would mean the next door... Hmm. Huh. Brain power trying to think here. 
So if we flip... There was a blue switch behind the top pillar. Interesting. Okay. I guess if I rotate it that way... Okay, that makes more sense now. Interesting. Okay. Can I just... Flee again? Alright. And what does this say? If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, well that's the red switch over... there. How come I don't trust that? Is there... Okay, no one can be merged... merged seed. I'm just gonna... Deal with these guys real, real quick. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Uh... I can eat him! <laughs> uh, let's talk. Clients can't talk to me, obey the overmind. Oh crap! Um, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Vegetoid gave a mysterious smile. Uh, I ate the monster candy, very unlicorice like, but I've recovered 10 HP. That's good. Legion, we are Legion. Farm locally, very locally. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool, not cool. Okay. Uh, it seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Okay, so I get it now. I can't really talk to the other one until I get the other one dealt with. Ow! Okay, so Vegetoid... Mmm, dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I can eat the greens! Oh, okay, interesting. Smells like steamed carrot and peas. Okay, so... Let's get rid of you. Mercy you. Nothing like alone time. Now you're gonna dance, yeah? I guess up doesn't have a carrot in the world. So I could just actually spare you now. Okay. Now the game's uh, gameplay makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> so, this said to press the red switch. Okay. Hmm. Not exactly something I'm trusting. How come I feel like I might have just went in a circle? It doesn't make much sense. If you can read this, press the green switch and the green s Pair of Vegetoids, okay. Hey, you, let's talk about dinner, huh? Pat my stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Yeah, eat your greens. Wait, no, not that. Thank you. Yay. Uh, spare one. Part of a complete breakfast. Vegetables for breakfast? Who would have thought something like that? That doesn't make any sense. That's just crazy talk. Come on, give me some more greens. I need to heal up. Eat my greens. Dun, 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 dun. All right, cackle softly. Okay. Spare you. Get out of here. So one of these is gonna have... Uh... Okay. I guess that was the right one. Alright, sweet. Uh... Huh? And... It's up here. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh. We did it? Huh? Why did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Nah, I'm not really hurt. There, there. I will heal you. Actually, I am kind of a little hurt, so I guess that's kind of nice. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Err. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Okay, what are we doing? Where are we going? Uh, hold on, before we do that, I wanna... Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Safe! Okay. Sweet. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. So I guess it's both. What if I told you that I didn't like it at all? I don't... I... I... I can't... No. Actually, butterscotch is not that bad. When made right, I guess. I haven't had it in forever. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Living. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Let's go. I wonder if... I, I've not even had escargot anyways. I'd be interested in trying it. Here, I have another surprise for you. 
Okay. What's up? Where are we going? This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Hmm. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home! Okay. Uh... Okay. Oh, there we go. I've seen this type of plant before, but don't know its name. Looks like cattails. Don't recognize that. Guess I'll go in this room here. Uh, hmm. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Well, then why did I think they were that cool? An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Hmm. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. What? Yeah, that was what I just looked at a moment ago. Okay. Huh. Interesting the music does that. Uh. Oh, I can just go to bed. Okay. Snail pie! Wait, hold on. Hey! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Nom 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 nom. Okay. So, I'm up. Uh. Do I go in here? Oh, wait. Or maybe in here. What's on, what's on here? Room under renovations. I guess I'll come back later when it's un under renovated. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Hmm. Kind of have, like, an idea that. Oh, hello. Here's her room, I'm guessing. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Hmm. Huh? I mean, you know. Never know when you need a bucket. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Uh, no, it's kind of a little rude. Interesting old plant here. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most cinderay of plants. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. Uh, this is an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha! A group of wetland flowering plants with brown, oblong seed pods. And more commonly as water sausages. Okay. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. You thought they were gonna go somewhere else, didn't you? I did. <laughs> I thought they were gonna go completely different direction. But one yellow plant kind of stands out in the room. Okay, uh, what happens if we go down here? Uh, hello? Hello, anyone? Knock, knock. Oh, there you are. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, Perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can nothing I go home? Nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should say I, when do I go home, but... Uh, okay, so the stats are all good. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. <laughs> Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Well, I mean, I guess maybe they have... You know, some chocolate stuff in here. Okay. Uh... Kinda not certain where... I wanna go downstairs for a second. And I might go and read that circled part, because I'm just curious. Oh! I think you should play upstairs instead. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm wondering why I can't go that way. Well, let's go ahead and... Because I feel like there's got to be something. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Uh, the rest of the passage is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. 
And here I thought it was going to be something important. Something that I shouldn't be reading. Something that tells me more about the character. Well, it told me something about the character, all right. She likes dad jokes. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. So, so far, let's see here. Let's just make sure. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2001X. Okay, so so far, I'm kind of thinking that she had a kid before and something happened to the kid, which is why we've got all these toys in here. We've got the photo that's dusty, but nothing in it. And then we've got the various shoe sizes. Kind of makes sense. Now, I don't want to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk with her again and see if there's something else going on. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit. Sure. How to exit... The ruins? Uh... Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails... Talk? Really? Slowly. Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. How to exit. Yeah. The ruins. Okay. I have to do something. Stay here. Yeah, last time I was kind of wondering about staying in there. So, I'm kind of curious here. I'm going to save again. I'll we'll probably go for a little bit more before we actually... So I'm just kind of curious. Is she going to stop me again? If I try to go down here? Maybe. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. One way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Hmm. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Hascor will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I can't do that. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Sorry. I gotta keep progressing the story. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. That's so. Toriel blocks the way. Try to talk with her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Toriel looks through you. I'm gonna keep trying to talk. You tried to think of something to say again, but. Uh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> Toriel prepares a magical attack. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. I figure I had to try. There's gotta be some way that I can actually stop her. Alright. Guess I'm gonna have to strike. Ooh, man. That did not do much at all. Ow! Ow! This is not really doing that well. Let's... Oof. Like, gonna be really hard to actually survive against her. Uh. Toriel looks through you. No? Let's try talking again. Doesn't seem to be a solution to this situation. Ah! God damn it, I didn't actually... Acting aloof. 
Uh, hi. I ate the butterscotch pie. My HP was maxed out. Thank you. Whoa. Woo! -hoo. Ah, shit. No, I did not expect that. All right. Gonna have to do something to stop her. Oh, whoa, whoa, fuck. No. Furio prepares a magical attack. I don't have any items. Uh, let's try to check out what she's got. Attack of 80, defense of 80. Knows best for you. Okay. Now. Yeesh. God. I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should have done something else, because, like, I'm trying to. Oh, ow. Woo! Okay. Whoop. 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 Whoa. Okay. So. Oh god, oh god damn, I'm failing. Ugh, so... Oop, oop, ow. It's like talking doesn't do anything, so the question is... Do I just have to keep striking or something? Okay. Um, acting aloof. Maybe if she's acting aloof I can... no? Because it might be in the way that she, you know, what she does exactly. But all these strikes are now going away from me. Hmm. 58, hey. Yeah, it's... okay. I'm noticing that. Yeah, okay, so then she's definitely... Intentionally not actually attacking me. Talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. Well, okay. So all I gotta do, because she's not gonna actually fight back at this point. Looks through me. Let me try again. Nope. Okay. For her, I'm going to try to not kill her. There's got to be some way I can do it. Because, I mean, she's definitely not fighting back at this point. There's a magical attack. And I hope this doesn't... Oh, really? You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me. Small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you, my child? I just killed her. Well, let's get through this. I'm like trying to think it's... And there's that little son of a bitch. <laughs> I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. 
That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot! Okay, well, by Toby Fox. Okay, well, I'm going to kind of end it on this note here. So, it definitely kind of caught me off guard. It was like looking like I was noticing that my attacks were going up and then she just stopped putting up a fight. I thought, though, that I could actually do enough damage that I could try to do something, but I don't know what I could have done. And I guess that was kind of the interesting thing that really pushed me for. So, that, that got me by surprise, because I thought that I still would have had another shot, but they... Mm -mm. Nope. Well, I guess they're in for a fun ride, aren't we? Hey, lady. All right, well... Thank you for going ahead and joining me here today on this video of Undertale. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like, a comment, and a subscribe, whatever you feel like it. I always like to hear from you, so let me hear from you, the viewer. And I'm sure that we're about to be in for a fun ride here. It's kind of interesting to see what they're doing and how they're just pacing the story out. So, I think we might have some fun here. Anyways, go ahead and raise your glass in the air, and have another pint on me. Love and peace. Move around! Get as many as I can! Wait, uh, you idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Holy crap, I didn't exactly. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Okay, well, huh. Die! Okay, uh, e, uh, what, what? Okay.